What's good, Paulding? It is February 23rd, 2021. Hey, here's a caption this report. We have some pretty creative patriots here, Paulding. Take a look at a few of the captions they came up with during our Caption This activity on Friday. Final call for school portraits for the yearbook. This week is your last chance to submit your school portrait for the yearbook. We will be submitting the portrait pages to Justin's on Monday, March 1st. Don't miss out. Calling all teachers, please post this link in your Google Classrooms and encourage kids to send in photos for the yearbook. This link will be in the description. Another link that will be in the description is the Jostens.com link to purchase your 2021 yearbook. Probably one of the most unique yearbooks so far. Check out the ensemble of special, crazy, talented, and adorable photos in this year's yearbook. $10 off. Higher Education Thursdays. All Paulding students and staff show your support of higher education and wear college gear every Thursday. Attention 7th graders, do you want to go to college? Would you be the first generation in your family to attend college? Do you have a 2.0 GPA? Are you highly motivated? If the answer is yes to these questions, AVID is for you. Check out the information here. It requires an application and a teacher recommendation. Due Thursday, March 4th. Check out your advisory stream messages. For your information, the school district monitors all of your internet searches, even if you are at home on your school account. If you search something that is questionable or concerning, school administration gets an email like this. Alert, disturbing keywords identified. You will then receive a follow-up from the principal or school counselor. In some cases, your parents are also notified. If you have questions or need support, contact Mrs. Dominguez. Friday Night Live Club meeting today. Speaking of Friday Night Live Club, Kindness Month poster contest. Good morning, Paulding teachers and students. If you don't know me already, I am Diana Armejia, an eighth grader and also a part of the FNL club here at Paulding. We are here virtually to introduce a project we will be hosting. But first, we have Finley introducing what kindness means to her, and Olivia and Cheyenne introducing what ways we can show kindness around to others. Hi, I'm Finley Walls. I'm part of FNL, which is Friday Night Live at Paulding, and we were asked to answer the question, what kindness means to us, and to me, kindness means treating others the way you want to be treated, with respect and empathy, and spreading positivity around an environment or a community. Hi, my name is Cheyenne, and to me, kindness means doing good deeds or saying nice things to people in need. It also means accepting people for the way that they are. For example, you can be kind to your parents by helping them do chores or clean up when they're not feeling good. Also, did you know that you can show kindness to your community? How, you may ask? Well, you can do beach trash pickups, help an old man or woman across the street, when COVID's over, of course. And you could buy things, so then you could help keep the economy going. And that's only to name a few. You could spread kindness at Paulding by doing a lot of things, even virtually. Even just doing something as simple as helping people if they need help on their breakout calls or by participating in all of your Google Meets could really brighten someone's day and make a difference in somebody's day. 
Even the smallest acts of kindness could mean a lot more than you think. Now, over the next few days, we will be having a poster competition, and it will end on Tuesday the 23rd, and the posters are supposed to express or encourage kindness. Again, the instructions are create an encouraging or kind poster by Tuesday, February 23rd. That's today. And the top three posters will receive a Friday Night Live prize package. The Padlet link will be in the description. Continuing to celebrate Black History Month, this is Ruby Bridges. At six years old, Ruby Bridges famously became the first black child to desegregate an all-white elementary school in the South. Ruby Bridges was only six years old in 1960 when her when the first grader arrived for her first day of school at William France Elementary School in New Orleans and was met by a vicious mob. Save the date, eighth grade student and parent information night. Welcome to the nest. Eighth graders interested in attending Royal Grande High School next year, save these dates, March 17th and March 24th for the virtual welcome to the nest and live question and answer. This information will be coming at you for the coming weeks until the day is here. Join us to learn all that a Royal Grande High School has to offer. Links pertaining to announcements here can be found in the description. Let's go, Paulding. Thanks for watching. Other Paulding Media, check them out. See ya.